As you might know, I have made plenty of medicines based around the Arduino board and the HTiny. They were good for what they did, but recently I have been playing with the powerful SDM32 board, also known as the Blue Pill, and this board can process way more data than the Arduino can, since it is a 32-bit ARM MCU running at 72 MHz compared to the puny 16 MHz of the Arduino. And as you might have guessed it, I have to build a medicine around this board. And so here it is. Here I have the powerful SEM32 board with an up amp so that I can drive some headphones, some resistors, capacitors for making a low pass filter, a resistor for limiting the current going to the headphones, a capacitor for filtering, a button for sustain and an old screen from a multimeter that is used as a viewmeter. I haven't talked a lot about the blue pill, so first I will point out that it is extremely powerful compared to the Arduino. It has more pins, more ADCs, PWM outputs with higher resolution, real time clock, more memory, more interfaces, more timers, and even USB 2.0. You can program this board by the use of the serial bootloader with a USB to serial adapter or through the use of an SD link. I have this DIY SD link that I have made and the software that I have used to make the code was CoCode's ID. Having said that, I will talk about the synth specs. So it is an 8-voice PCM synthesizer with two percussion generators that have six samples. It is using USB MIDI for controlling it, and it supports pitch bend, panning, meaning that it is a stereo, sustain, and volume control. The STM32 doesn't have any DAX, so I use PWM with a resolution of 10 bits. Finally, I will show you the power of this synthesizer with a comparison between my smallest synthesizer based on the ATtiny85 and a PCM synthesizer based on the Arduino.